Hello, hello. Had a shadow there. Most of you on here know me, but for those that you of you that don't, my name is Tony Lauterio. I recently um, became an Avon rep, and I'm having a lot of fun doing this and sharing some tips and um, trying out some fabulous products. So I've been working with these vitamin C samples. It's a vitamin C serum that's good for the face. Now, my grandma, there's a lot of information out there on vitamin C, and so I'm just going to share my personal story. I inherited from my grandma these little red moles or whatever. I have, I have lots of them, and so some of them started getting larger in size, and I went to the dermatologist, and I said it's cosmetic. I'll remove the one, but the rest of them um, you can either leave or um, pay for it out of pocket. So I didn't stop there. I went to my esthetician and she did an analyze on my skin. And the skin is very firm, it's got a lot of elasticity. And the 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 secret to that is um Good hydration, drinking collagen, washing your makeup off before you go to bed, a good cleanse in the morning, and a good skincare res re regimen. So, a face wash that has some essential oils in it, like a jojoba oil or lavender oil, are are good skin skin um, cleansers that won't dry out your skin, but they also clean they clean your makeup off really good at the end of the day. And you can also um, to get if your makeup is is um like say you went out and you you have more makeup than usual, a good makeup remover like even um, some Pond's cold cream or there's, there's a lot of different makeup removers or some witch hazel. Um, but a good makeup, if you just want to do it in one step, a good makeup remover that's going to just really cleanse all that makeup off your skin. Um, and then you moisturize. That is the key to having good skin, minimize the wrinkles, and less of this excessive brown spots or moles that we get as we get older or inherited from the grandmas. So I been I received some of these vitamin C samples and they are in campaign 25 the serum. So it's a it's a trio. It, it is a system okay we believe in systems and so it has it has a mask that you can apply and then it has a serum and then it has for the lips now earlier in a video I talked about plump lips and again the hydration is real important twice a day um, so when you go apply the lipstick your lips are plump um, they have its natural color and then your lip your lipstick stays on life longer so back to the vitamin c why is vitamin c serum so good for your skin for one it's a gel and it absorbs fast and really good into your skin it will 
it may help prevent the what what you see out there as the UV or the ultraviolet light um, induced photo damage. Have any of you ever seen that Walgreens commercial where they show people under normal light and then they show them under this purple light and you can see all the sun damage on the skin? Well, vitamin C and a good moisturizer and a good sunscreen will help um, prevent some of that. So, how do you apply this vitamin C serum? You can use it before your moisturizer or you can use it after your moisturizer. And it's just a gel. And you first make sure you got to have your face clean. And you just apply some of it. A little bit goes a long ways. You apply some of it um, on your hand and then you're just going to apply it on the skin. And it smells citrusy. It smells really, really good and a little bit goes a long way. Now I always say when you're giving yourself this spa treatment, this pampering, take some time and massage your skin. Always go upward, especially right around here, right around here where all the tension forms. Just take some time, circles. These two fingers are the lightest fingers that we have in our hands, so it's always best to use those on our skin, especially around our eye, eye area. We don't want to apply this around the eye area because our eye area is more sensitive skin. It's it's a different skin type around our eye area. So you just want to apply this around the rest of your facial skin in circles and just nourish your skin and give it all that goodness. Um, it's got an absorbic acid which is comes from a, the citrus that over time will brighten the skin. Um, sometimes we get those brown spots on our skin from sun damage or from age. So over time, applying this vitamin C will help um, minimize some of those, lighten them. It's called a hyperpigmentation. I know all these big terms, but brown spots, hyperpigmentation, same thing. Um, it offers some hydration, and oh, it just smells so good. And like I said, if if you want to take it a step further, there is a mask that also helps hydrate the skin. And the vitamin C serum is $44, but it's going to go a long way because all you need is like the size of a dime for your whole face, twice a day. And then the lip balm that comes with it. Um, the lip balm will help hydrate the lips, keep them smooth, keep them plump, keep those lips um, kissable, and of course a lot of H2O. Always important, I will always talk about how important it is for hydrating. Um, keeping your skin really nice from the inside out, um, collagen drinking collagen, you can drink collagen in tap bottle water or you can drink it warm as a tea. Um, collagen is a protein and collagen helps our skin, our hair, and our nails. So that's my vitamin C tip for the day. I hope you're all having a fantastic Friday and my wish for you is that you have a very happy and enjoyable weekend. We are looking forward to um, going out of town this weekend and we're going to pick up one of those train rides and visit Santa. It's a whole new experience for you, for us, and um, we're really looking forward to it. And I think most of all I'm looking forward just to see the excitement on my grandson's face when he sees Santa. Thank you for watching and bye for now. I will put the link 
um, to the vitamin C serum in the comments. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.